As uh, the season of uh, monsoon is now in its peak and winter is not far away, I am always reminded if winter comes can spring be far behind. So there is a season uh, for the first uh, season therefore I would like to conclude of the fashion and design series. And I was thinking about you know how it all started and uh, what it has taught me. I don't know how what it has taught the viewers, uh, but it has just strengthened my belief that most of uh, what we plan in life may uh, may or may not happen. But serendipity is the biggest theme which uh, I have personally experienced in my life. Uh, whether it is uh, you know when I was uh, just going for a film uh, and seeing uh, an old uh, childhood friend uh, Chandran in uh, in the lobby of the theatre leading to you know finally applying for MBA admission and uh, instead of going to Institute of English uh, in, uh, in uh, Trivandrum to pursue with Dr. Ayyapa Padikar at that time who was heading Institute of English for my MA because I had got very good marks in English uh, literature for BA. I land up uh, in studying uh, for MBA which was the third batch of uh, Cochin University in uh, Kerala. And then I was really uh, struggling in the first semester and uh, really not uh, very easy to come to terms with the subject because I was a humanities student. But then come getting a rank, you know, second rank in the MBA uh, when you conclude the course. And instead of uh, joining the job offer which I got from Madura Courts uh, to join the Mumbai office uh, in the advertising and marketing uh, area, landing up uh, instead as a sales manager silks in Karnataka. And thereafter, uh, you know, taking uh, uh, various positions in handloom and becoming a managing director at the, you know, very young age uh, in 1986 at uh, the Kerala State Handloom Development Corporation. If you look through that journey, which was uh, somewhat, uh, uh, you know, predictable in a sense of speaking, but the, the relationship with textile, uh, if there is a word like Indophile, I can say that I am a textophile. My entire, uh, uh, you know, argument in the FAD series, if you really look at, are revolving around institution building or talking about, you know, the textile uh, industry and apparel industry and how uh, they could prosper and the people associated with it could do better uh, is mainly the theme. So, the serendipitous movement to fashion, which came about because I was uh, chairman of Kerala Garments for a short while and managing director of the main corporation and the subsidiary was Kerala Garments. And, uh, having run into Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger and Bill Blass uh, and making garments for them in the Kerala Garments factory led me to actually uh, eventually choosing a career in apparel because that was the time in 86 when uh, NIFT was being thought about and I had come for a chance visit, uh, completely serendipitous again uh, to Delhi and meeting uh, Dr. Akni Hotri and uh, at that point in time the SK Mishra who was in the handloom uh, department as development commissioner and thereafter uh, joining as a founding faculty member of NIFT and thereafter you know getting really engrossed in a field of fashion. So from uh, the first decade of handloom to the second decade and more of fashion and then again serendipity worked an institute where I used to go as a guest faculty in the summers uh, in National Institute of Design Ahmedabad. Uh, you know, getting selected as the director, the fifth director at the beginning of the new millennium and uh, having got uh, two terms of office and being able to be part of uh, a major transformation of setting up campuses and national design policy. All this I had covered in the various, uh, you know, uh, various episodes. And then, uh, of course, now the skilling focus in the last eight to nine years with the current job. Uh, some of it has been captured and I had argued recently in the textile, concluded textile 2017 that the fashion ecosystem, if we integrate all the disparate, uh, disaggregated elements of uh, textile industry from ginning, spinning, weaving, processing, uh, garmenting to retail and accessories and embellishments and uh, lifestyle products and uh, perfumes and eyewear and footwear and everything which is on a human naked body. Uh, then you are talking about, you know, integrating a system from the craftsman to the 
top manager and this i think was well well received in the in the speech made in uh, textiles 2017 and there uh, i have argued that the skilling ecosystem uh, should therefore bring in an element beyond just the entry level jobs and create a person who can find job uh, you know job rotation job enrichment uh, horizontal and lateral movement of the of the uh, of the, the textile value chain uh, you know if he wants to change the job from one spinning to weaving or weaving to garmenting it should be possible and maybe a person who is a, a spinning master could equally do well uh, as a production manager of a garment factory uh, with a little bit additional help or if you are a tailor you could do become a very good sales person uh, because you know the human body and how to explain what fits a customer but you need to really bring in this understanding of the ecosystem and this is what i argued in the recently concluded textiles 2017 but i was just uh, again remembering that Handloom Spring Bazaar in 1977, and that was one of the biggest events which really brought me to the national level, because that time uh, agricultural bazaar was uh, bazaar was uh, sort of uh, the main uh, you know Pradeep Medan's uh, biggest event, and uh, agri bazaar was concluding, and the handloom bazaar was made part of that, and I was uh, putting up the Karnataka pavilion because I was sales manager of silk in Karnataka. and some strange occurrence i was selected to uh, represent all the states in the valedictory function of the handloom spring bazaar and shanti bhushan uh, was the you know the minister of textiles and uh, dr mp sheshadri and mani narayan swami and renu uh, sakni i think and uh, many other uh, Mike, michael pinto later all these people were uh, doyens of uh, uh, the textile uh, ministry at that point in time and i was uh, making the first speech at the national level in 1977 in the pragya maidan uh, in the uh, auditorium uh, you know which was the amphitheater kind of uh, place uh, i think it was shagodalam theater maybe uh, where it was held and uh, 40 years later a similar event happens in uh, textiles 2017 there was not handloom spring bazaar but it was a complete textile value chain from the craft person to the designer to the all the elements of textile it made my heart to very warm that from handloom which is just one component of the textile which had its glorious days during that period we are seeing the textile industry getting integrated again uh, and and the new uh, leadership of uh, the current uh, honorable minister and uh, the team which is not bad and i think if we can build on it uh, textile and apparel industry will have a great future and the skilling system uh, if we can Uh, go out of this, uh, you know, very entry level approach to more holistic approach of a T shaped uh, individual or a uh, more, uh, you know, breadth of uh, competencies and depth of competencies and functional capability and creative enterprises forming the T. I think there is a better chance for our sector to uh, evolve into a value adding, value creating system. So I think the argument. throughout my 20 episodes revolve around somewhere in parts on this and if i'm happy that if uh, the viewers have found it uh, interesting i have got many uh, responses from some of them even telling that we have to wait a whole week for the next episode some people have appreciated that at uh, 12 in the midnight my team uh, you know mr shajin kumar and uh, soumya have been releasing at 12 Zero one at past midnight immediately the the new uh, episode and many people have been uh, patiently watching for that uh, even in midnight I suppose and uh, many episodes have you know gone past even uh, many thousands of viewership and some have uh, not uh, necessarily got the expected viewership but that is part of uh, you know a long series uh, but I am very grateful to each one of you who has spent uh, time in uh, viewing this. and giving us feedback now one of them even said, said that i must uh, do a complete makeover uh, maybe that you know uh, i look uh, more or less uh, boring in the, in all these episodes maybe that i should get a young designer and get my hair do and uh, new garments and all that i take it all in a good stride but i told that i am past the age where people will be looking at my garments uh, only and maybe that they want to hear what i am going to say so i am thankful to each and every one and continue watching and i hope to get back uh, in some time maybe in spring or in summer uh, if there is a winter can spring be far behind thank you